We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In today's video, I'm going to paint the scroll on this leg plate of the Warhound Titan that we've been working on. And I want to do this as kind of a dark parchment so that it contrasts with the really bright stripes that we've done on the rest of the Titan. As always, if you have suggestions for what you'd like to see in future how-to videos, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. So the first thing we're going to do is give this a nice base of Mornfang Brown. We're also going to add a couple drops of Lamian Medium into our paint and mix it up just to make sure that it's got a really nice flow when we put it on the model. So this is going to be an all over layer and we want to make sure that we get it in all the nooks and crannies. The scroll kind of bends and wraps around and goes underneath this Aquilia so we want to make sure that we get that section as well. We're also going to make sure that we get all of the sides of the scroll and the bottom. This scroll has been sculpted onto the model so it is 3D and we want to make sure that we get all of the little edges and ridges and the entirety, not just the flat front of it. A useful trick to making sure that you've gotten every little nook and cranny is to flip the model upside down after you've painted it and you'll be surprised how often after you've flipped it and are looking at the model from a different angle that you can see all the places that you missed. Once we have a nice, good, solid base of this Mornfang Brown, we're going to start highlighting with Deathclaw Brown. Now I'm going to put some of this on my palette, but I'm not going to be mixing it with any sort of medium because I'm going to be using a dry brush to do this first highlighting step. Now this dry brush is just a time saver. I found that doing my first highlight with a dry brush can sometimes help me build up the color quickly without doing lots and lots of multiple layers. And it's also really effective on these Forge World scrolls because they have so many sculpted ridges that the dry brushing really brings out. So I'm going to do this on pretty much the entirety of the scroll. I'm using a small soft dry brush and I'm really just putting on very little pressure so that I can make sure that I catch this scroll without slopping over onto the red underneath. Next we're going to take some Lamian Medium and we're going to put a drop or two into our Deathclaw Brown. And then we're going to apply this in a more traditional manner and that will really build up the color of the Deathclaw Brown and smooth out our dry brush. However, because we started with that first dry brushing step, we can get away with doing fewer layers to build up the color we want. I'm going to be concentrating this color towards the top of the scroll because that's the area that I'm going to want to have in highlight. And I'm going to do this over almost the entirety. I want to leave that Mornfang Brown in the very darkest recesses. And I especially want to make sure that I leave a small line of Mornfang Brown in the areas right when the scroll curls. I want to do that because I'm going to be continuing to build up the highlight at the top edge of this parchment. And I really want my highest highlight to be right next to my darkest shadow. So if I leave just a little bit of that Mornfang Brown right where the scroll curls, I'm going to get that effect and that's going to create the maximum contrast. And contrast is really pleasing to the eye. We're going to build up a few layers of this color. Even though we did do that dry brush, we're not going to get away with doing only one layer. And each subsequent layer we want to build the paint more towards the top of the scroll. And this is going to start to build our highlighting gradient. So the darker areas are at the bottom and the lighter areas are at the top. Here's both sides with the Deathclaw Brown highlight done. The next step is going to be to use Zamasi Desert. This is also going to be a dry brushing highlight. So we're going to put a little bit on our palette, but we're not going to mix it with any medium. And we're going to be using a pretty small brush and we're really just going to try and catch that top edge very lightly. We're not worried about building up a lot of this color. We're just going to start to bring it to a little bit of a more yellow tone. 
Now, since this is going to look like aged parchment, I'm not super concerned with making sure that things are entirely blended evenly. I kind of want it to look a little bit splotchy because that's how parchment ages. It doesn't age entirely as one color. I'm also not super concerned with making sure I get a lot of coverage with the Zamasi Desert. I really just want to catch that top edge. Here you can see the second side done as well. Our next color is going to be Ushapti Bone. This is going to be another quick dry brush highlight. I'm using one of my Ruin Detail brushes so that it's a very small brush and I can really just concentrate on catching that upper ridge. I'm also catching the corners and I'm going to be putting more of this highlight on the very front of the scroll than I am on these sections that weave up into the distance. And I'm going to try and be sparing with this highlight. I want the scroll to be dark. A lot of the scroll work ends up being a really bone color, but again, I want it to contrast with the bone stripes that we have on the Titan. So this scroll is going to be a lot darker. Once I have the dry brush highlight about at the area I want it, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the Death Claw Brown where I mix a little bit of Lamian Medium into my paint and I smooth it out with my detail brush. Now you can see here that I'm actually putting the Lamian Medium to the side of my paints and I'm putting it next to the Zamasi Desert and the Ushapti Bone. This is because I want to have a little bit more control over these colors than if I were to just mix Lamian Medium into my entire dot of paint. I want to be able to have some areas that are a little bit more pigment heavy and some areas that are a little bit more translucent. First we're going to use the Zemesi Desert and we're going to even out the yellow highlight towards the top. This is a very translucent paint because it has quite a bit of Lamian Medium in it. It's going to create a very thin layer, just a small highlight. The goal here is not necessarily to build up a lot of pigment. It's just to smooth things out and to give a nice base so that we can highlight with the Ushapti bone in just a little bit. We're going to be applying lots of small layers. We're just going to be building the paint up very slowly, layering it on and creating a very smooth highlight. Now I'm going to be mostly using just the Ushapti bone and I'm going to do an edge highlight on the very top edges and the corners of the scroll. If I feel like the edge highlight is a bit too bright, I can always take my brush and dip it in the Lamian medium dot that I left on my palette and use that to make a thinner paint and blend that in a little bit better. But my goal here is really not to make this scroll bright. I just want to bump up the contrast. So I want to add another highlight right at the edges, right next to the areas that are going to be the darkest. Here's both sides now that the highlight's complete. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back with our Mornfang Brown and we're going to pick out some of these cracks that were sculpted into the scroll that we've painted over. I want to make sure that I'm using a very wet paint so I've got a lot of Lamian Medium and a lot of water in my brush. I'm just doing a small line. I'm kind of letting the paint seep into the recesses as much as it will. I just want to make sure that these cracks don't get lost because they're really cool and they're one of the really neat things about the sculpt on this model. Here you can see the model now that it's entirely done. A nice dark scroll that's going to look very different than the bone stripes that I've already got on the Titan. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos, I have another one where I'm going to continue this scroll by doing the script on it in the mini Wargaming Vault and the link down below in the description. If you don't have a Vault membership, go ahead and click the link. You can get a seven day free trial and get access to my tutorials as well as hundreds of other videos in the mini Wargaming Vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy wargaming.